Lady Leah. I'm here for another video. Excuse my hat. I just came back from the gym. So I just want to do a video real quick. But the name of this video is New Wine. New Wine. Stay with me. You'll get what I'm saying. Why, ladies, we always feel that we can save a guy a man you know why why do we feel that we our sole purpose of being on this earth is to save a man because we put so much energy we put more energy in trying to get this man right than we put in our sometimes our children sometimes our place of business uh, our own family members but this man that we are sleeping with laying with we put so much energy into him why why i tell you why because when you met him he was broken yeah he was broken he was a mess when you met him he was a cheating whatever when you met him you know he he came with drama the drama was he always complaining about the last woman or the last relationship or his ex-wife or his baby mama it's always something but if you notice excuse me if you notice he's never at fault He's never at blame. It's always what they did to me. They did this and they did that. And I don't understand this. And I'm a good person. And I, I wouldn't do that to people. And, and I, you know, I, that's just not me. That ain't in my character. But it is in his character. It is in his character. The reason why he's not with that person is because... Nine, nine times out of ten, they don't found him out. They don't call him on his BS. And the minute you call a man on his BS, he gone. He going to find the next victim. He wants somebody totally new that don't know his family, don't know his sisters, brothers, auntie, mother, father, homeboys, homegirls. He want to make sure you are fresh out of water. He will make sure you have no ties to anybody that knows him. Because that way he could corner you and manipulate you and have you believe in all sorts of lies that he came in the relationship with. Okay? So that's why I said uh, new wine. New wine. You, ladies, me, I, we are the new wine. We are. We went through heartbreak and, and breakups and situations, probably death, losses, different things, disappointment. Kids don't want to act right. Your, your boss uh, uh, don't want to act right. You're trying to get your business started. You got a whole lot of things going on. But one thing about us ladies, we know when the problem is bigger than us. We know when it's bigger than us. We are praying. We are we are on our knees. We're asking God for help. We're asking God for guidance. Okay? Because we are already strong. We already know what we carry, what's our value. But sometimes it gets to just a little bit too hard. So, okay, there's nothing wrong with praying. You're supposed to have a prayer life anyway. Pray every day anyway. Pray when you go on the in the car, going to work, going to school, going to the grocery store. You know, God protect my children, protect my family. Make sure my house is the same way I left it. You know, this is just little prayers. This is little prayers. They're little prayers, but they are mighty. They are mighty in God's ears. So don't ever think, well, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. You talk to God like you talk to one of your girlfriends. You tell him your problems. Because tell him, I, I don't have to have no friend. I got a friend in Jesus. You tell him your 
problems. Okay? So, uh, so you know, we know the problem is bigger than us. So, we, we seek out help. We pray. We go to get therapy. We go to get a coach. We go to, we talk to that friend, you know, that one that has sense, you know. We talk to uh, that family member that really means you well. Okay, we gonna get some type of support to help us through our situations. Whatever that situation may be. It might be from a breakup. It might be from losses, you know, from your job, from different things like that. Whatever the problem is, we always look to seek for help. So as we look and seek and sought and, and worked on ourselves, give ourselves daily affirmations, speak life into our own selves, this is how we, as women, this is how we get well. This is how we work on ourselves. We don't work, the, 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 the way to get over a problem is to do something new. Get over the old problem, do something new. Had a bad breakup, work on yourself. Go to school, write a book, get a blog, podcast. You always wanted to open that little cafe, open the cafe. All you have to do is pay your rent and get somebody in there, one or two people in there that can work it for you. The, you know, little dream businesses, things like that. Uh, uh, that's doing something new. Read more. That's doing something new. Okay? Stop listening to the that music, um, you know, that, that promotes uh, cheating and fornicating and, and and just evilness. Start listening to people um, that can mentor. Start looking at people that can speak life into your soul. Speak to your mind. You need people like that. Okay? That's doing something new. Okay? You don't like your job. Okay. You might be fortunate to get a transfer. You might be fortunate to leave that job. Get your own business. Transfer to a new location. That's doing something new. The way to get over something bad is to do something new. That's it. You don't like the neighborhood you're living in. Excuse me. Try to save your money. Try to better yourself. You don't have to go from, say, like a, a not so fortunate neighborhood or the hood. You don't have to jump from the hood into Beverly Hills, but you can step it up a bit. You can spend a, a maybe an extra hundred dollars in rent just to step it up a bit. Get out of something old. Get into something new. That's it. That's the way to get over something old is to get into something new. Okay? So now, back to this man that you trying to save. He's broken. He was a mess when you met him. But you, you know, thinking, oh, I, you know, I could, oh, I can fix him up. I can save him. Uh, you know, I'm going to be that woman that he has not had. I'm going to cook and clean and do everything and show him, you know, I'm, I'm the one that he should have been with all along. I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to listen to all his problems, all his complaints. You know, he might need some money. I'll give him some money. I'll help him out. You know, he has big ideas. He has big ideas. He has big dreams. But, you know, maybe I can invest in his business. You know, he's trying to do the right thing. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. The Bible says... You cannot put new wine into old wine skin. That man is old wine skin. Because the minute you put your new wine into old wine skin, you're going to destroy 
the wine skin and the wine. So that means you're going to destroy yourself because you're the wine. You're the new wine. You're going to destroy yourself by putting all your energy into that old body, that old mindset, that old way of thinking. That man, that's old wine skin. That's old wine skin. You can't put your new wine into old wine skin. It's going to crack. It's going to break. Because the more you do for him, the more you put yourself out for him, the less he respects you, the more he destroys you. Because you can't wrap your mind around why he's not looking at me like I'm the one. Why he's not respecting me. Why is he not giving me all that I'm the same that I'm giving him? Why is he not? Everything he's taking, you going through your day every day, you feeling drained, you feeling upset, weary. You go to work, people are wondering, what's wrong with you, girl? Yeah. Oh, since you got with that guy, you, you just looking terrible. That's not you. That's not you. You let this man come in and take control of your senses. Your senses. The senses that God gave you. All because you want to be nurturing. Because you want to be the one, his ride or die. But guess what? That's all you're going to be is his ride or die. Because once he gets his full once you filled him up, because with all his negativity, you giving him all your positivity. You giving it, you throwing it into him, throwing it into him, throwing it into him. And once he gets his full, once he gets full, he's going to drop you like a bad habit because now he's full. His emptiness that he had, you gave it all to him. And now you're drained. The new wine is destroyed. The new wine that you worked on prior to meeting him. The new wine that you took the time to pray about it. Get a coach. Get a therapist. Go to the gym. Eat right. Read books. Did a podcast. Uh, wrote a book. Do articles. Help out the community. You. You. The new wine. The one that you took the time to fix, you gave it all to him. So now look at you again, empty, feeling depressed, don't have a friend in the world, your hair's falling out, your skin looking bad, you are not eating right, you gain weight, you know why? You gave it all to him because you felt he needed it, he needed it. He needed it, all right. He needed that feel from you. So guess what? Guess what? Now that he done got that feel, he dropping you like a bad habit. And guess what? Now he's going over to the next victim and get a refill because he can't do the work himself. He can't go and get help himself. He can't look at himself and say, I need help. No, he'd rather go to somebody else, get it from them to fill up his own soul. And that's what he's going to do. And after he go to that person, he's going to do the same thing to them, drop them like a bad habit, go on to the next one. It's just a repeat cycle, 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 cycle. A repeat cycle. That's why you cannot... Put your new wine into old wine skin. You ever seen a, a commercial? I think it was a commercial. Yeah, back in the day where um, uh, if they had like these wine bottles, like no wine bottles, like some stemware for like champagne, and they poured champagne wine into the, the stem, the little champagne glasses. And the lady went to sing at the, her highest note. Ah! What happened? That glass burst. 
that glass burst and that wine went all over the place. You see that? You see what I'm saying? That stemware, that glass wasn't sturdy. It was old. It was weary. It could not hold the new wine. So what happened? It destroyed the glass and it destroyed the wine. You see, nobody wins in this situation. You're the, you're the same person that's dealing with somebody that's not sane. You both lose because now he's messing with your sanity. Meanwhile, he's pulling you into his evil web till he gets his full, his fill, and now he's taking it to the next person. Okay? So that's what I mean. Just, just you, you just have to be mindful of what we doing out here. We just have to be mindful. Now, if you're struggling with this, you want to talk to me, you can email me. My email address is in the bio. You can subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm new out here. Give me a, give me a chance. Uh, I just feel, you know, it's, it's so many women out here that needs us. We need each other. We need each other. So email me with a question. Subscribe to this channel. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.